Welcome back. Well, we learn new developments about COVID-19 and its impacts on the body every single day. As you know, the virus affects your breathing and your lungs, but can it also affect your heart? Well, Dr. Rayan Saab is an internet interventional, excuse me, an interventional cardiologist, mouthful there, at Princeton Baptist Medical Center to uh, answer that question for us. We appreciate you being here with us this afternoon, doctor. So could coronavirus have immediate or long-term impacts on a person's heart? So the short answer is yes. Actually, when we started uh, dealing with uh, coronavirus patients, uh, especially in the ICU, they were coming with uh, some EKG changes concerning for um, heart attacks. And a lot of times we would take them to the cath lab. We couldn't find any significant disease. But what we've come to learn is that uh, COVID uh, gets uh, to all parts of the body, causes inflammation, severe inflammation. And some of the changes were attributed to more so myocarditis, which is basically inflammation of the heart tissue. Uh, obviously, when that starts happening, uh, it can degenerate into heart failure, uh, shock, uh, and obviously um, on the long-term consequences of this, we are hoping that um, you know people completely recover once the inflammation settles down, but it's still too early to tell what's uh, what's the long-term consequences of that. So doctor, I know um, there's a laundry list of, of symptoms, signs and symptoms that someone might be uh, be impacted or have COVID-19 uh, and they, they seem to change every day. We get new, uh, new symptoms every single day, but as far as COVID impacting your heart is concerned, or is there anything you can look out for? Are there any signs you should, you should pay attention to uh, that could indicate that you have COVID and it's impacting your heart? Or is that something that you'd have to have a, a complete screen uh, at the hospital to, to find out? It's it's very hard to differentiate a lot of times between the heart and the lung presentations. Obviously, you can have some chest pain and tightness and feeling short of breath uh, from a, a heart perspective, not necessarily from the lung perspective. I think uh, overall what people need to um, pay attention to is not to dismiss their symptoms, especially if they're pretty severe because we are having um, a lot of people not showing up, although they are having something else than coronavirus affecting their health. And we actually are seeing less people coming in with heart attacks. Doesn't mean that people are having less heart attacks. It means that they're having them, but they're not coming to the hospital to get treated for those. So I think uh, people should be careful about the traditional symptoms. Um, obviously, um, in the hospital, we can do all of these things, and we wish we could do it remotely, but a lot of times mm -hmm. we do have to examine them and run some tests to get to a conclusion. And I know at first, we have about 30 seconds left, so I don't really give you much mm -hmm. time to answer this question, but I know at first when we were hearing about COVID-19, it was specific age groups, people with underlying health conditions. Of course, we're now learning it impacts a wide range of people in a different amount of ways. As yeah. far as COVID and heart problems are concerned, is there any specific group that would be more prone to both? Well, uh, people who have uh, already predisposed, uh, you know, cardiac conditions, comorbidities, high blood pressure, mm. uh, congestive heart failure, history of heart attacks are at increased risk up to tenfold. Um, obviously, uh, most of our patients uh, who are getting really sick from COVID are above 65, about 80 percent. But we are seeing 20 percent of people healthy, young, with no prior uh, comorbidities or conditions that are getting a severe form of the disease. So everybody should be careful uh, and people who are at higher risk should be probably even more so careful about this uh, virus. Well, those are definitely some more things to think about and, and more reason for people to take the precautions and the, the advice of, of health experts like you uh, who are putting out information every single day. Doctor, we appreciate your time. Uh, stay safe out Thank there. You. Be good and stay, don't, don't go out in that heat if you don't have to because that's something else you don't have to deal with today. We appreciate you. Thank you. Take care. All right. Stay Thank safe. you.